Uh, you caught our attention with your tweets on Yamamoto. Uh, and this was back in 2020. You were tweeting yeah. about Yamamoto and his delivery. Whenever I hear someone say, hey, you know, when I warm up with a baseball, it may, it hurts my elbow. It concerns me. But you have a pretty good argument in terms of you think his mechanics are pretty solid. So I don't need to worry about Yamamoto getting hurt. Right, Rob? I mean, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say so. I think like the the training that he does and the things that he does kind of like supports what he's able to do on the mound. Um, the javelin piece, uh, in terms of like he started using that to like re- alleviate elbow pain, I thought was super interesting. I um, mean, it makes a ton of sense, right? Because I think a lot of people have a misconception around like elbow injuries in general. They think that it's like, hey, if you throw a heavy thing, that's going to hurt your arm more. But like they don't necessarily understand that like ligaments and tendons and muscles like work differently than one another. Um, and so when it comes to like tearing an elbow, right, it happens at max layback. Okay. It happens usually when the arm is going the fastest in and out of external rotation, right about there. Right. So with a heavier implement, like a weighted ball, uh, or a javelin, you literally cannot move your arm as fast. It's just like not possible. So the ability to actually stress and like hurt the ligament is actually significantly lower. So it actually makes a ton of sense. That's what's so cool about these elite athletes is, is they know all these things intuitively. Like they can feel it, right? Like Yamamoto's Moto's like, oh yeah. I throw this, it makes my elbow feel better. It makes me organize my mechanics in a different way to be more efficient. Uh, he just knows that, but there's also like so many more layers to 